One of the common questions you're going to get whenever you pitch a new animated series is, why now? So in today's episode, I'm going to explain what buyers really mean when they ask you that why now question, as well as give you some advice about the best way to answer that's actually going to make it not just why now, but why you. Hey there, welcome back to Surviving Animation, your guide to making it in the business of cartoons. My name is Eric Calderon, and today we're talking about the why now question. But before we go further, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Nucleus Gallery in Alhambra. So since about 2014, Nucleus has been a real friend to the animation community. They highlight a lot of artists' works. They have a lot of gallery openings. They have a lot of uh, teaching events, and I actually spoke at one of their events at the end of 2020. So this Saturday, Gallery Nucleus is actually holding a retrospective on the great anime company, Studio 4C. So at that virtual event, they're going to be uh, bringing the director of the anime Children of the Sea, Mr. Ayumu Watanabe. They're also going to bring the founder of the company, Eiko Tanaka, and they're going to have prints from some of the great films um, in uh, Studio 4C's portfolio that they're actually going to sell the original pencils for. So uh, stuff like Children of the Sea, Genius Party, Eternal Family, and actually one of my favorite anime movies of all time, Mind Game. Uh, so if you go to Gallery Nucleus's website, which I will uh, put a link below, you can get the information about the event. The actual virtual uh, Q&A with the director is going to be at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time on Saturday the 6th. So again, it's going to be a really great event, but uh, thank you, Gallery Nucleus, for sponsoring this video. And let's get right into answering the why now question. All right, the why now question is basically divided into two specific categories. The first category I like to call the external social political, and the second category I like to call the uh, internal or within the confines of your own story structure. So let's start with the first one. So when a buyer or a person who's in front of you asks why now, a lot of times they mean really why is this show important or good or necessary or well-timed for this particular point in time. So, you know, what they mean in the larger sense and is, hey, why does the world need this show? So if you think about it from the most simple point of view, it could just be, hey, we haven't had a funny SpongeBob-like comedy and that particular buyer needs that type of programming. So the why now is very simple. But when you kind of take a step back and you try to figure out why your show is really important now, you have to take a lot of external factors into play. So maybe this is the right time in culture. Maybe this is the right time in society. Maybe this is the right time in politics to kind of say, hey, this is an important story now. So um, I will say that as your animated uh, concept uh, goes higher and higher in the demographic target, so let's say it's an adult show or a show that's meant for a real discerning, you know, kind of mature audience, then the why now has to be a lot more hotbed. It has to be a lot more relevant to us to the point where you actually kind of really are worried about this question. You know, maybe you have a pitch about uh, uh, interstellar space cops and you decide, hey, the why now of this show is that one is extremely conservative and one is really liberal. So you're really presenting a show that, that you know, at its core talks about a problem that we worry about today. So, you know, that is like the external social political version of why now. So. The other version, the internal version of Why Now, is actually within the logic of your own story. So, you know, you may have characters, you may have setting, you may have a great world, but your story doesn't propel, propel forward until you have answered the Why Now question. So, you know, here's a dumb idea. Maybe you have a show about uh, a tennis player in Sweden and, you know, their life is forever changed when... I don't know, like aliens abduct him and take him to another planet. At the same time, those aliens' uh, enemies actually destroy planet Earth. So now you have the last tennis player in the whole universe who's got to play tennis. So yeah, I know it's a terrible idea, but what that answers is why within the construct of your own story, that character uh, has to activate now. So that character's story begins now. So that is the why now of uh, the internal version. Okay, now that you understand there's two types of why now, there's the external social political and the internal within the logic of your own story, what is the best way to answer that question? Well, the simple answer is really to do both. And when you do both, make this interesting transition from, yes, this is the kind of show that we need or your platform needs because of all these external reasons. And then as you get into that, into your story, explain how your story and your settings and your character 
require the instant propulsion of this story because this character has to begin acting now because of whatever reason. So when you have all that flowing, the thing to add at the end, which is the real kind of secret sauce of the why now question, is attach yourself to those two ideas. So on the external social political, you want to say, hey, I am the best person for this particular topic for these you know, reasons, you know, whether it's my experience as a writer or creator, whether it's my specific culture, where it's my point of view, or it's something that I've proven through my past works, you know that when it comes to this subject matter, I'm the best person to talk about it. So then as you go into the internal version of the why now, you want to flex your ability as a creative and say, that's what I put all those things into this here. And as you can see from my character and story, I've executed it very well. So it's funny when people kind of say why now, because they, they do really mean, you know, why are we doing this? What is this important? But what they're also asking internally is why are you the person to answer our why now question? Okay, well, I hope that was uh, helpful for you. That was a quick one. It's a little bit of advice. It's a phrase that I get often posed to me. And in the pitches I've done recently, um, it is definitely coming up. And wherever you are in your career, wherever you are pitching, uh, make sure you have an answer for this question because it's not only going to help your presentation, it's probably going to help the work as well. Okay. All right. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.